Hi there, the start of Real Nappy Week 2018, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of fitting some of the most popular nappy systems. So, first of all, I'll show you our pocket nappy. Here I've got a Baba and Boo standard pocket nappy, which has got two inserts in its pocket, one, two, and I've got my fleece liner inside. So first of all, what I would say is just make sure that you pop it nice and neatly under baby's bottom. Not too high, because sometimes if you bring your nappy up too high behind baby's back, you'll struggle to get a good fit at the front because um, you won't have enough nappy to, um, to sort of fasten properly at the front and then as baby moves, things will drop, you'll get gaps around the legs. So just start off maybe just at the top of baby's bottom cheeks and then bring the nappy round, folding as you go. So just making a little sort of pocket out of the bottom of the nappy and bringing it up. This means that it's already in the leg creases, which is where you want it to be, um, and that sort of eliminates any leaks. Also here I'll show you that I've already got this nappy on the middle rise. That's just to suit this baby's size. Um, when I've also done the rise, I've also ensured that the material is tucked upwards just so that it doesn't affect the line of elastic on the legs. Because sometimes if it's pointing downwards, um, you get a sort of a little ripple, um, which can affect uh, whether you get leaks or not. So once we're in this position, you just want to bring your tab, holding the front of the nappy up high, and bring your tab upwards and then popper it in, always remembering to do all the relevant snaps. And then again on the other side, turning it up and then poppering in. Not to forget the hip snap. And so what that gives us is a really nice snug fit around the legs. It's nice and snug but not too tight around the front and the back. You can still get a whole hand in there it looks comfortable and the right size so you can see that it's not going to slip down and create any kind of gap around the legs and that is a nice fit so that's how it should look really you can see there that the gap at the front is okay and you won't sort of get wicking and leaks as long as it's sitting nicely because baby's going to need to move if it's too tight you're going to get some restricted movement or discomfort so it's always fine to have a bit of a gap at the belly. That looks like from the back. And next we've got our two-parter system. This is um, a little bit more reliable if, say, you're going on a long car journey or perhaps at night. Um, it just means that it gives a bit more of a reliable a uh, bit to avoid leaks, really, being a two-part system. So what I've got here is a bamboozle stretch. This is a size 2, but it does have some adjustability with poppers at the front as well. So if you've got a particularly tall baby or a short baby, these can be really good. It has a Velcro fastening, and it's just made from bamboo. It's a nice stripy uh, pattern on this one, and it has a snap-in bamboo insert. So I've got that there, and I'll get my fleece liner. And same principle as before, just under baby's bottom, but not too high, and just bringing it up the same way as we did, creating that kind of pocket so that the nappy goes into the leg creases and bringing it up to fasten. So you've got a nice, neat sort of nappy finish. I've also sized up with the poppers there just to suit this baby's size. And then you will need the wrap over the top because a bamboo nappy on its own is not waterproof. So again, you just bring baby's bottom up, slide the wrap underneath, making sure that the wrap covers the back of the nappy all the way. And then just guide the wrap round to make sure it's covering all of the nappy that's there. And again, I've got the rise done up to the middle and making sure the excess is tucked upwards. And I'll just bring that round to fasten it neatly. 
This is a natural baby wrap that has double gusset style legs. So you can see there that there's actually elastic and then another piece of the wrap inside. So that gives you an extra bit of protection. And, and again, just looking at the finished nappy, you can see it's nice and snug again around the legs. Decent fit. There's no sort of huge gapes where there's going to be any leaks, nor does it look too tight. So if you just make sure that you're covering all the nappy at the front and it's nice and snug and fitting baby well. And again, you can fit your hands um, in there quite easily so you know it's not going to be uncomfortable for baby. So that's what that one finish looks like. And the last one that I've got to show you is our Bum Genius Elemental. It's an all-in-one style of nappy, so there's nothing that you really need to add in, although you could add a booster if required. It's two layers of organic cotton, and what they are, are they're just sewn into the ends, and then the PUL waterproof layer is already there. So you can see that that's quite a neat, slim system, and it's quite good for going out and taking with you so you don't have to add anything else in. And so once again, just lifting up baby's bottom, we pop that underneath, not too high. And you can see here that stretching out, we just bring it up, tucking in as we go. It creates a lovely neat line around the leg creases. And again, on the middle rise for this baby. And it's done up just as we did before. We bring the tabs up and pop her. And the same on the other side. So yeah, we've got a nice neat line around the leg, not too tight, not too high. That's a nice fit for baby. You can see there that it's nice and slim. Um, but also, really, each nappy follows the same principle for fitting. As long as you make sure it's into the leg creases, starting nice and low so that you can get the proper sizing and you're not going to get any dropping around the legs to create a gap. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment uh, and we'll try and answer anything that you might want to know. Thanks for watching.